Welcome back to the Medigap Show. I'm your host, Holly Cohen, bringing you all things Medicare. Today's hot topic is about Medicare marketing. So you've probably noticed over the last couple of years how much advertising has been on television about Medicare. Well, that's what we're going to discuss today and what the crackdowns this year and moving forward into our upcoming open enrollment will be like for marketing so that you don't have to deal with watching those horrendous commercials about Medicare. So stay tuned. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and you want to stay updated on all the newest information about Medicare. In today's video, we will be discussing the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, CMS, recent finalization of new rules for Medicare Advantage marketing. Let's dive into the highlights of this article. The Marketing Problem in Medicare Advantage an analysis by Jay Asser on June 5, 2023. Misleading marketing has run rampant in the private program for too long. CMS regulations will attempt to offer more protection for enrollees. Some key takeaways of the article. Medicare Advantage marketing has been under fire for its dishonest tactics in targeting beneficiaries. A report by the Commonwealth Fund found that CMS reported more than 41,000 complaints in 2021 about Medicare private plan marketing, which doubled 2020 and dwarfed 2017's figure of 6,000. CMS made marketing a priority in its Medicare Advantage final rule for 2024, which includes restricting any ads that do not mention a plan name or use confusing imagery. Medicare Advantage can attribute its growth to several factors. But deceptive marketing is undeniably somewhere on that list. When your consumer base is senior citizens, the ease with which MA and traditional Medicare can be confused isn't a bug, it's a feature. Health plans selling the private program are able to take advantage of beneficiaries' confusion with marketing tactics that prioritize profits over well-being. Whether it's a celebrity endorsing Medicare Advantage on a TV advertisement or a broker not being completely forthcoming, MA has been ripe with misleading and deceptive practices. Where exactly is that marketing coming from and what is being done to protect enrollees? According to a recent report from the Commonwealth Fund, non-government entities, which are agents, brokers, partners, and health plans account for one-third of all Medicare-related search records and 87% of all search engine ads. Medicare Advantage plans are promoted through direct mailings, telemarketing, and advertising on radio, television, websites, and social media channels, the report stated. No organization, including the federal government, directly markets traditional Medicare, although commercial insurers sell supplemental Medigap and Part D plans for people in traditional Medicare. Thus, nearly all beneficiaries are subject to some form of marketing effort. When people aged 65 or older sought help with their plan choice, the analysis found that 31% turned to agents and brokers in Medicare Advantage. As brokers and agents are paid commission by insurers, enrollees can be at risk of manipulation. The Commonwealth Fund also highlighted that CMS reported more than 41,000 complaints in 2021 about Medicare private plan marketing, which was double the number in 2020 and up from about 6,000 in 2017. The marketing problem has gotten out of hand, which is why plenty of lawmakers have taken notice and attempted to push CMS to implement necessary regulations. CMS listened and cracked down on unscrupulous marketing tactics in its MA 2024 final rule. The changes will take effect on September 30th, before the open enrollment period, when plans will once again attempt to lure beneficiaries through TV ads and other media. As part of the rule, CMS will prohibit any ads that do not mention a plan name, use words and imagery that confuse enrollees, or use Medicare logos in a misleading manner. Protect beneficiaries from prevent predatory behavior and strengthen the role of plans in monitoring agent or broker activity. Protect enrollees by ensuring they receive accurate information about Medicare coverage and are aware of how to access accurate information from other sources. This final rule will strengthen Medicare Advantage and hold health insurance companies to higher standards for America's seniors and people with disabilities by cracking down on misleading marketing schemes by Medicare Advantage plans. 
Part D plans and their downstream entities, CMS said in a press release. CMS has prohibited advertisements that don't mention a specific plan name or use words and imagery that may confuse beneficiaries. To tackle misleading marketing practices, advertisements are prohibited from using Medicare logos in ways that may mislead, confuse, or misrepresent the plan. These rules aim to streamline the process for beneficiaries, protect them, and to ensure consistent and reliable healthcare coverage. If you'd like to explore these new rules in more detail, please look at the link in the description I've included in this video. If you like this video and the content that I'm putting out, please feel free to subscribe to the video and share it with anyone you know. My goal is to get the information out about Medicare and explain what it really is because all that marketing is completely confusing, especially if you're just starting out. You could have a Harvard Law degree and still find Medicare incredibly confusing and basically due to the marketing that's always out there. That's all for today. Please be well. I look forward to speaking with you next time.